Tell me, who is it tortures thus your heart? I could not. To speak her name would stay in the air. How so? She whom you love must be a good and virtuous woman. She is. It is my forbidden love that would condemn us both. Trust me, sire. Let me share the burden of your secret. I would not corrupt your innocence. Leave me. To the dearest, most sweetest, most precious, most secret owner and sole proprietor of my heart. Now the war is over, victory ours, and I am once more returned to our childhood home. Do you remember, Kate, the day before I went to war? Do you remember dancing until dawn? I have often thought on it. Sweetest sister. You will come of age next week, and nothing would please me more than to have you celebrated here, in our old home, with myself and your cousin Richard. I shall write to him by return of post. We shall pack today and go tomorrow. Madam, forgive me if I ask leave not to accompany you. I shall not need to forgive you, because I shall not grant you leave. To turn 21 without you would be no celebration. Madam, please, respect my request. Why? Has something happened? A memory, madam. That is all. But one I do not wish to reawake. Why should it be reawoken in my brother's house? What secret have you kept from me? If I were to confess, I fear you would discharge me from your service. Oh, if you do not, that fear will come to pass. Tell me. Tell me now. May I remind you of my loyalty and constancy? Your character is spotless in my eyes. And try to forgive me when I confess. I'm not the maid I seem to be. I was... There was a boy. He stole my heart. And I gave him my maidenhood amidst his promises we'd soon be wed. And I you to him pledged? His promise he reneged on once we'd been to bed. So he left you defiled. There's more. From our one night was born. A child. I have a little sister that my mother calls her own but never bore to save my honor and my name. I love you twice as much for your story and your honesty. I neither blame nor judge you, but entirely take your part. Then you understand why I must stay. No. You must come. Take courage. We will find this man. It may be that he still serves in the house. If not, I will seek him out. He will pay for what he did. My sister. I could have sworn I smelt her scent. Um, uh, the trunks were sent ahead. The lady's just a sniff behind. Oh, um, perhaps the scent is this. Sent on before. This is for my cousin. Why does she write to him? Sire, what has moved you thus? Reseal this. Deliver it to my cousin. Intercept any other letters that pass between my sister and himself and bring them to me. My dearest Richard, my cousin, last time we bid farewell, I feared that we might never meet again. Sweet is the news that you are safe returned and a hero to boot. Do you remember 
how we danced till dawn, the hopes we had, the promises we made. I do, and have kept them and myself for you. Cousin. Who writes to you? Nothing. No one. Is that not my sister's hand? It is, my lord. Uh, she did not write to me. What nothings does she write to you? Sweet nothings. Which mean everything to me and nothing would to you. Cousin, I know I have no lands, no fortune to my name, but I have heroes, honors heaped on me. And what's worth far more, a steady and a loyal heart. A heart which has for some time now belonged to Kate. My sister is not for marriage. <laughs> not yet. She's too young. And today she comes of age. I have a match prepared for her. With whom? A man I trust as I do trust myself. And riches as equal to my own. But does he have a heart? For true love sure is worth far more than gold. How dare you bargain for a priceless jewel? My father gave you everything you have, and your thanks is to steal his daughter too. You, upstart, orphaned, nothing! Unhand me, cousin, now. What shapes are these? Still play fighting? Did war not wear you two out? Two years ago, I left you boys. I thought now to return to find you men. You're not find us, sir. I find you heroes, brother. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Cousin. Meet Marguerite. She is the sister that I never had and most dear to my heart. Water with haste. Is there a physician we can call? Tis but the long day's travel. Let me retire. I will accompany you. You will not deprive us of your company this first day of your arrival. Stay. I'm quite well alone. No question but I come with you. Festivities can wait. Sweet brother. Dearest cousin. Till tomorrow. Meet me here in an hour. Sire, let me be the sheath to the sword of your desire. I would not have you think that my appetite runs before my modesty. My desire is to have and to hold. So make me first your wife and ask my brother for my hand. You do not wish to make your love a bride. I wish for nothing more. No, your brother wishes nothing less. I asked already for your hand. He told me firmly it was not his plan. You gave up fighting for our love so fast. Debted to Louis, to cross him is deep ingratitude. You are indebted to my father. 
It was he adopted you. It was indeed your father. My dearest uncle. Took me in as his own. Invested in me time, money and faith. Which I in turn must reinvest in Louis who carries his name. I am my father's daughter. I too carry his name. And would lose it if you married me. Kate, I have nothing to offer you but myself. Yourself? It's all I need. The land, money and title I have already and would share with you. I can't take you from your brother. My brother is a bully and owes you his life. Did you not save it twice in the wars? You do not take me. I take you. Mm. Now, away. Would you turn spy upon me, brother? Would you turn traitor upon me, sister? How traitor? It's loving secretly, no treachery. It's whispering, kissing, longing, plotting to give away that which I value most, your maidenhood, not treacherous. It is my maidenhood, brother, not yours. But you are mine, sweet sister. All that you are and all that you have is mine until your wedding day. I am mine own, unhand me, brother, now. You will never marry Richard. I will marry who I please. You shall be married to Lady Marguerite in two days' time. That will stop your game. She will refuse. She will do as I say! I said it before! And so will you. <gasps> who goes there? Die another day. That's all your brother did to you. What did he do? That which twixt lovers is a blessing, but twixt siblings is a curse. I would not speak of this. But I would and must. This action of his turns my loyalty from him to you, and now I do regret it was not turned before, when he did even darker deeds to you. What darker deeds were these? To call it a dark deed is to demean the honesty of the desires that led us there. Was it my brother who took your virtue and left you with child? Was it Louis? Say it. No worse can happen than has happened. Speak. It was him. <gasps> what have you become? In his defense. Despite his anger toward me, I know there's good in him. War twists and splits a man. Maybe, but that does not explain the past. When he took Marguerite, he was a boy. And boys are rash and foolish, full of lusts and longings they cannot control. Now I remember. He did confide a love to me. A girl met in the fields, a maid he sought to make his wife, but your late father did forbid it. She not being of noble birth. Would you both forgive him? If he was made to face the wrongs he's done and make amends. I would, if he repents and feels just shame. Then I think I have a plan. Dearest brother, my love for you is stronger than my hate. And love, I feel, is what you need to heal the sights and sounds of war that fill your mind. Meet me at midnight. Enjoy what you find. A lover's ecstasy lies in the mind. <sighs>
Henceforth, all I have, all that I am, is yours. And all you are, and all you have is mine. Where is this priest? A happy pair stand by. Sire, I need to must speak. I fear I am unfit to make this man a wife. How so? I am already wed. Where did you get that? From yourself, who lay with me again last night. This is a fiendish trick. The trick we turned to tame the fiend in you. But how dare you treat me thus? It's for your own good. Repent your sins and heal the hurt you made. <laughs> I will kill you for this cousin. the life you twice have saved. Not if you take this woman as your wife, whom you already twice have known, and whose bastard you will now acknowledge as your child. You did enjoy me, thinking I was she. Was all that pleasure but a fantasy? She has saved you from yourself, and me from you. Take her for your wife and love her truth. 